Hey guys, I hope that you're doing well and um, staying healthy and having um, some fun time when the weather's nice outside. We're going to learn a new note C on our recorder today. I hope that you've still been practicing and having some fun with this. A quick reminder, you guys can totally take a video and submit it to, um, to our Google Classroom. A couple of them come in and it's really awesome to see and hear you guys playing an instrument that normally you'd be learning with me and you're doing so well by yourself and I'm really super proud of you. So keep them coming. I'm also hoping to be able to maybe highlight some of these um, on our music Facebook page if I see some really great ones. So keep them coming. Great work, guys. I'm super proud. Today, our new note is the note C. I'm going to scoop myself up here. If we look over here at my music staff. C is in the third space. You remember face in the space. Wicka, wicka, wicka. So if I hold up my music staff, I have F, A, C. C is in that third space. And the way that we play it, if we're looking over here at my fingering chart, I have my thumb and then my middle finger, okay? That's all I need. So a nice gentle two into my recorder. And I have my note C, okay? One more time. It's my thumb and my middle finger on that second hole. And I get a nice gentle sound. Okay, remember not too much air. If your cheeks are puffing out, definitely blowing too hard, putting too much air into your instrument. Okay, and if we look at number one, number one, the rhythms are pretty easy. We're still going to say them to review. We have ta, 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 di, ta, ta. Ta, 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 to. And it's all on the note C. Okay, so now let's try it. Easy enough, right? It was just the letter C. But now if I look at number two, the rhythm's super easy. It's almost all quarter notes or tas and a whole note, but we're switching between C and that, that third line B. So C was my middle finger and my thumb. Remember, B is my pointer finger and my thumb. I start on C. I think for this one, just to be safe, we should maybe say the letter names first, okay? The rhythm's easy, so I'm not concerned about that. Letter names first. Here we go. C, 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 B, 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 C, C, B, B, C. Okay, easy enough. Let's try it in our recorder. That switching is going to be the hardest thing. I'm going to go just a little bit slower when we play so we can get used to that. Here on C. Here we go. Okay, and there would be a repeat there. You can go back and repeat if you need to. Okay, number three. Letter names again first. C, C, B, 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 C. C, 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 B, 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 C. Okay, so this one's a little bit more complicated with those eighth notes or toddies in there. Be careful. We start again on C. Slower to start. Here we go. Easy enough, right? Okay. So take some time. It says work for very smooth technique as you change from fingerings B to C. Make sure that you are taking your time and really um, feeling comfortable with that switch between the two fingers, okay? The next one is called a song 
Juba. You might have played this. I believe it's also a hand clapping game. It goes Juba this and Juba that. Juba chased a yellow cat. Juba up and Juba down. Juba running all around. Okay, the rhythm's super simple. It's almost all ta's or quarter notes. But they threw in our new note C, and in the second line, we also have an A and a G. So let's just to make sure we're ready to rock and roll, say the letter names first, okay? Here we go. B, B, C, C, B, B, A. B, B, C, C, B, B, A. B, B, C, C. Oh, was it I'm supposed to do that? And then B. B, A, rest. C, C, B, B, A, A, G. So pretty good, minus the fact that I had a little tech glitch in there, okay? I start on B, my thumb and my pointer finger. Okay, nice and slow, here we go. especially because if you noticed there's a pattern this is this is one phrase oh look at it. the same exact notes here and then one more time a third time it's broken down so we have three groups of two measures that are the same each time cool you can pause it here and you can practice along or we can keep moving our next song is called triple meter trip it's called triple meter trip because Another name for this fraction that we learned way back in second grade is called the meter. The meter tells us how many beats we're grouping together. And the top number is the number that we look at specifically. In this case, there's a three on the top, so we're grouping beats in three. We start on C, so we have C, 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 B, 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 A, a G A A A B B B C rest G C. Ooh, that's gonna be a little tricky. Let's try those last two measures that C G C. So I have C G all, th all three fingers down, back up to C. Try it one more time. C G C. All right, now let's try it at the beginning, going slower. Easy enough, right? Okay. So we were, we definitely could feel it had a different movement to it, a different feel to it because they were grouped in threes and not fours, okay? Our last song for today is Humpty Dumpty Sat on a Wall. I bet you've heard this nursery rhyme before. It's grouped in groups of two, okay? We can see we start on G, so it's our thumb and fingers one, two, three. Let's say the letter names just to be safe. G, G, A. A, B, 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 C, 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 B, B, A, 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 G, 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 A, 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 B, 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 C, C, B, B, A, A, G, 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 G. This song has a lot of stepwise motion. Stepwise motion, if you remember, is when we go from line to space to line 
to space. We're not jumping from like line to line or space to space, okay? So that makes it easy because then our fingers are just lifting up one at a time or coming back down one at a time. Starting on G, let's try it out. Here we go. Try this one again over and over. Hopefully it's not too tricky because like I said, we're just lifting our fingers up and down as we go. I'd love to see videos from you guys of you playing. So don't forget to try and submit those to our Google Classroom and then only I can see them, okay? I look forward to that and I wish you all well and good luck in your recorder journey this week. Bye.